In this video, we're going to continue our discussion about adding and subtracting random variables with a covariance or otherwise known as our correlation between those variables. So let's go ahead and work through a practice problem. So an oil and gas company is looking to explore drilling a new well at an oil field outside of Valdez, Alaska. The executives know that revenue and expenses are positively correlated with a correlation coefficient of 0.64. The expected revenue for the venture is $20.1 billion with a standard deviation of $3.5 billion and the expected expenses are $14.5 with a standard deviation of $2.4 billion. What is the expected net income and standard deviation for this venture? Okay, so our expected revenue is $20.1 billion with a standard deviation of our revenue of 3.5 billion and the expected expenses oh we won't do that we'll say exp for expenses the expected expenses is 14.5 billion with a standard deviation of 2.4 billion and we know that net income is equal to revenue minus whoops minus expenses so in knowing that our expected value of revenue minus expenses is equal to the expected revenue minus the expected expenses which is equal to 20.1 billion minus 14.5 billion so 20.1 minus 14.5 gives us 5.6 billion. So that's our expected net income or our expected, uh, expected value of revenue minus expenses. So our standard deviation we now need to calculate, but we need to be cognizant that there is a correlation coefficient of 0 0.64. So let's go ahead and solve. So first let's calculate our variance. So our variance of revenue minus expenses is equal to the variance of revenue plus the variance of expenses minus 2 times r times our standard deviation of revenue times our standard deviation of expenses. Just going to highlight this for a second this negative sign we need to be aware of whatever we're doing in our function so if it's x minus y it will become minus 2 so our variance of revenue well we don't know our variance but we know our standard deviation so this becomes our standard deviation of revenue squared plus our standard deviation of expenses squared minus 2 times 0 0.64 that's our correlation coefficient times our standard deviation of revenue times our standard deviation of expenses okay so our standard deviation of our revenue is 3.5 billion and standard deviation of expenses is 2.4 billion. So we get 3.5 squared plus 2.4 squared minus 2 times 0 0.64 times 3.5 times 2.4. So 3.5 squared is 12.25 plus 2.4 squared 
5.76 minus 2 times 0 0.64 times 3.5 times 2.4 minus 10.752. So 12.25 plus 7.76 equals minus 10.752. Which is equal to 7.258. <clears throat> so that's our variance, and our standard deviation is going to be the square root, so our standard deviation of revenue minus expenses is equal to the square root of our variance of revenue minus expenses, which is equal to the square root of 7.258 which is equal to 2.69407. And this is in billions of dollars. So that's our final answer. So very quickly, we have calculated our expected value of our net income and our standard deviation of our net income, otherwise known as revenue minus expenses. So let's go ahead and we'll do one more question here. So a fast food company is exploring the prospect of selling ice cream and hot beverages. The executives knows that the two business verticals, that is ice cream sales and hot beverage sales, are negatively correlated with a correlation coefficient of negative 0.64. The market size for ice cream sales is 7.5 billion with a standard deviation of 1.5 billion. And the expected market size for hot beverages is $25.5 billion with a standard deviation of $4.75 billion. What is the total market size and standard deviation for total market size for this venture? Okay, so let's go ahead and just, let's just explore this for a second. So if we look at this and we say, um, we'll put uh, hot beverages on our x-axis and ice cream sales on our y-axis. A negative correlation coefficient here means that you have a negative linear relationship. That is, as ice cream sales goes down, hot beverages goes up. So correlation coefficient of negative 0 0.64. That perhaps makes intuitive sense. As the temperature changes, ice cream sales will go down simultaneously when it gets colder. People are going to want more hot beverages. That's perhaps an explanation. We're not here to explain it. We're just here to do it. So let's go ahead and calculate the expected value. So our expected value of ice cream plus uh, hot beverages is equal to the expected value of ice cream plus hot beverages plus the expected value of hot beverages. So we're told that the expected market size for ice cream sales is $7.5 billion. And the hot beverage market size is $25.5 billion. So 7.5 plus 25.5 gives us an expected value of $33 billion. Okay, so that's part one done. Now we need to calculate the standard deviation, but we also note that there is a negative correlation coefficient, so we're going to have to deal with that. So let's go ahead and first calculate our variance. So our variance of ice cream plus hot beverages is equal to the variance of ice cream plus the variance of hot um, plus two times our correlation coefficient times the standard deviation of ice cream times the standard deviation of hot. We of course don't have our variance, but they give us our standard deviation. So we're gonna do the standard deviation of ice cream we're going to square that value plus the standard deviation of our hot beverages. We're going to square that, remembering that the square of your standard deviation is equal to your variance, 
plus two times our correlation coefficient times our standard deviation of ice cream times our standard deviation of hot beverages. Okay, so our standard deviation for ice cream sales was $1.5 billion. So we're gonna go 1.5 squared plus, our standard deviation for hot beverages was 4.75 billion plus 4.75 squared plus two times our correlation coefficient. Now we have to be aware that our correlation coefficient here has a negative value, so negative 0 0.64, so times negative 0 0.64 times 1.5 times 4.75. So 1.5 squared gives us 2.25 plus 4.75 squared gives us 22.5625 plus 2 times negative 0 0.64 times 1.5 times 4.75, which gives us plus negative 9.12. Okay, so we have to be aware that we have a negative value there. So 2.25 plus 22.5625 gives us 24.8125 minus 9.12, gives us 15.6925. That's our variance of ice and hot. So then our standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance of ice plus hot, which is equal to the square root of 15.6925, which gives us 3.96138 billion. Okay, and there we have it. We've done two questions, one where there, has a, there was a negative correlation coefficient, the other where we were doing uh, random variables x minus random variable y. And I think we have answered all of the questions that we need. That's it for this video. But if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.